first guy, John Sullivan, you know, we spoke about him some of the other day. This is a guy who has a record. And I guarantee, I guarantee you there's lots more like him who are there. Whether they get caught or not is TBD. We'll, we'll find out in the days and, and weeks ahead. But we spoke about this particular guy. You can see on the screen there, he's got some real crazy eyes. Real crazy eyes. But you can see him there on the screen. He's got a record of doing this. He's been arrested before. He's an Antifa, a known Antifa agitator member and, you know, whatever you want to call him. And there was a, there was a story that we talked about earlier this week where, where people said, oh, he was there. There's footage of him being arrested outside of a hotel in D.C. And then the story kind of disappeared. It kind of went away. Like, okay, well, that's, that's interesting. Not getting conspiracy-like. Just that, uh, That's interesting that he was there. That kind of proves what we've all been saying. Why is it not being talked about? Well, now he's back in the news. Now, now we do get to talk about it because the FBI has arrested him for his role in inciting violence and the events at the Capitol. This was a clip of him at the Capitol. Looks like maybe the rotunda, but at the Capitol, roll one. I'll give you a hug now. We did it. <laughs> you were right. We did it. Dude, I was trying to tell you. I, I couldn't say much. You were right. <laughs> you just have to wash my chest. Is this not going to be the best film you've ever made in your life? No. That's it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah? Hell yeah. Wait, you weren't recording, were you? I'll delete that shit. But I didn't record you or me. It was just voices. All right, it's pretty interesting, right? I was trying to tell you, couldn't say much. You need to follow the chat. A lot of these chats that happen on the dark web and these different platforms. And by the way, the girl, which you maybe have seen by now, on Twitter or other outlets is Jade Sacker, who's worked for CNN and others in the mainstream media, allegedly was doing a documentary or in the process of doing a documentary on Antifa. But you know what's funny? I, there's a lot that's funny about all this. One, the whole told you so kind of thing. But CNN, who's a joke? They're just a joke. They just always have been. I don't, you don't have to like Fox. You don't have to like this organization or that organization. Let's just all agree that CNN is not the greatest news network out there. But they became a bigger joke. Why? Because they had John Sullivan, that very guy right there, that person who's now been arrested by the FBI, and Jade Sacker, the female who was in that video, on their network shortly after the events of the six. And he kind of took this whole, you know, I was just the nice guy, couldn't believe this was happening kind of a thing. They bought it. All the while knowing, you should know this, do some basic research before you have him on. Maybe they did and they didn't care, which is worse and believable. That this dude is an Antifa person. That this dude does have a record of doing nasty stuff. That this dude does talk about doing this kind of stuff all the time. And he was just there. And you think, oh, he, had to, he wasn't there to do anything bad. He just, was, he just was a great person there helping people out. You can hear how he describes his actions here. Roll two. Two people who were there join us now, Dr. Marini filmmaker uh, Jade Sacker and left-wing activist John Sullivan. Uh, John, you filmed this moment on, on your phone. Just Can you describe what happened? Yeah, so uh, basically all the, the protesters kind of stormed to get into the chamber. We tried to get into like uh, the main entrance right when you walked down the hallway. Uh, but that being said, nobody was able to get in because there's two guards refusing to move. Um, people there were not really wanting to hurt uh, the police, so like they went down uh, a different uh, alleyway. They went to like the left of uh, the main entrance of the chambers, and then uh, took a right down the hallway that en entered into that glass window scene that you see. Um, there were two. There were about like four or five police officers right at the forefront, and. I remember just coming up and seeing one of them like crying, saying they want to go home to their kids. And like, one of the we police officers were just, he, yeah, one of the police officers. It was kind of like a, a scene out of you know, the All he sees is like thousands of these protesters, like, kind of converge on, uh, on them, yelling, saying, let us in here, let us in here. We're not trying to hurt you. Um, I ended up like talking to a few of them. I said, hey, we can like just make a pass for you to get through. By no means am I there on on uh, uh, the, the, the Trump side or the MAGA side, but I don't want to like see people get hurt unnecessarily, uh, especially when like there should be a, a better way to go about it. So I, I, I um, allowed and told everybody to just let them through. They're willing to go peacefully and just put down their arms and walk through. So 
So how was uh, how was this lady shot? I mean, she she was in go, trying to get through the door, and was it? Do you did you see who shot her? Yeah. Oh. Uh, so I was getting to that part. So immediately after they start breaking through the glass. Once they broke through the glass, they were using like flagpoles and whatever they had uh, to kind of bash through the windows. Uh, the on the right hand side, this lady was able to like make her way all the way through the window. All we see is. Uh, these guns come out uh, the doorways, just guns. And all you can see is their hand, that's it. You can see faces. And right when I saw that, I was yelling to people. I was like, guys, there's guns, there's guns. You don't want to go through all there. Right, so hard hitting stuff there, right? Crazy. Good work, Anderson Cooper. You did it again. Of course, you don't believe this victim BS. You shouldn't, at least. You shouldn't believe it. But there's an affidavit out. Now that the <clears throat> FBI's arrested, now there's information coming out. There's videos coming out with John Sullivan proving that he's not this victim that was just a, You don't show up to things like that and then do it peacefully, come out of it, especially when you've got a record and talk about it that way, but it's kind of funny that he did. Um, <clears throat> but we've got a couple things here. There's, there's an affidavit that's come out that led to his arrest. There's, there's all this. We can pull those up now if we've got them. Um, but basically here, and I'll pull, I've got to read them on my screen too, but there's one that says, hey guys, I have a knife. I have a knife. Let me up. He did not, however, if you can see on the screen there, this is the next image, um, make it up there, um, it says in there. But obviously not something, you shouldn't be having a knife. Clearly you're not saying, let me up there, I've got this <clears throat> for, uh, for good reasons. And then this is another thing that's read here. After the crowd broke through the last barricade and as Sullivan and the others approached the Capitol building, Sullivan can be heard in the video saying at various points, there are so many people, let's go, this shit is ours, F yeah, we accomplished this shit. We did this together. F yeah, we're all part of this history and let's burn this shit down. So sounds like, sounds like a victim, right? Sounds like the same victim he was just describing there. So this is good. Look, this is a good thing. This is a good thing that he was arrested, that it's, it's being shown and documented that there are other people there not just Trump supporters. There's people like him. There's, again, there's other individuals. You can see a lot of them on Twitter. They're starting, as more arrests happen, you're starting to see who these people are. Some Trump supporters. Some, I don't know who the hell they are. Some agitators from, from radical left groups. And keep in mind, too, with all of this stuff. Keep in mind, too, the FBI had been tracking this stuff leading up to, they, they had said that they knew stuff was going to happen and go down. They've been tracking chat rooms, this, that, and the other. And they've not exactly been on Trump's side the last four years. Should never be on, on or not on a side of a president, but the FBI certainly has, has become politicized to the point where you could say they certainly haven't been on his side. So it's not like they're doing him favors here. They're just doing their job. And this guy was there doing awful things that a lot of people are arguing. I'm not going to say it because I wasn't there. I haven't read the whole affidavit. But a lot of people saying his actions in that particular scene led to Ashley Babbitt's death or the scene that led to Ashley Babbitt's death. So we'll see. But something that's going to come out over the next several days is more investigations like this, more evidence and information from this particular case, other cases. And we're going to know a lot more with these investigations and with time. Time that President Trump was not afforded. They rushed right into this as a recap. As a recap. He didn't say anything in his speech, which can be listened to or read. I'm not just making that up because I support him. I also realize where we're at and we're having to move on in certain things. But you can listen to it and see that there was no encouragement of violence. There was no encouragement to do this, that, and the other. It's absolute malarkey that anyone's saying otherwise. America's under attack, and they're all around us. I'm talking about liberal Democrats, and they're out to destroy everything that we've worked so hard for. Mammoth Nation's here to fight for you. You only get one vote, so let's join forces. We support conservative lawmakers and the causes you hold so dearly. We stand behind our police, veterans, the Second Amendment, and much more. We need your help, so join today.